April. Well, it's June 15th, 2025, 2024. <laughs> and uh, yesterday I worked up here on the, uh, on the, I've been working on the driveway the last couple of days. And yesterday I took a lot of the uh, topsoil that had been encroaching all the way up into the driveway to about this line right here on each side. So it really just left uh, a little bit more than a, one vehicle's width of uh, bare ground. And I've been using the land plane behind uh, Optimus Maximus, the Kubota uh, Grand L6060, to, uh, to go ahead and try to resurface that area. And that has worked out pretty well. And then I brought Elon up here, the excavator, and I had to do work over here. I'll go over that in another video. But one of the things I was doing was coming up and pulling out all of the sod that's on this side of the driveway. Now the gravel will only go to the outside of, of each of these pillars on each side. Uh, and there's still some more sod that I got to get out from around the pillar up there. And over the years, the pillars have settled some. So I have to re-straighten those up. Uh, so that's something I got to do. But like down here, uh, the sod is pretty thick. And so I want the water as we build the, the, ultimately as we build the driveway back up, it'll have a crown to it. And everything from the uphill side of the property should go right down uh, the runoff, the crown of the driveway into this side of the driveway. I still have more work to do over here, but then go feed into each one of the swale systems and go into the ponds and the sediment collecting systems over there. Whereas on this side, there will be some runoff that will come off of the crown of the driveway and go to this side. And I thought about putting a swale coming right down here, but I really don't want that. Uh, I'd rather it just be a slightly lower spot right in here. And, uh, and the, the, uh, the amount of sod that's grown up over the years, so we used to have all the, the thornless blackberry plants over in this area. And we're reforesting up in the upper area up there. So the, swat, the, the, the depth of the soil on top of uh, the gravel base underneath this whole area varies in thickness. But the slope does come down this way as we come down the driveway. And as the over the years, the sod is really built up here. And then this is a spillway that leaves this side of the driveway and it goes down and it goes around to pond five. And then pond five goes through the pond systems back to pond six, pond seven, and goes off into the forest and feeds the beaver ponds. So what I want to do today, and we'll see how this works. One, I do have to dress this up a little bit with the uh, land plane. But before I do that, I think I'll use the Hulk uh, to take to scoop out some more of the soil down in here so that it goes smoothly and so it isn't such a, an abrupt edge so that when I'm mowing it isn't a big deal. And either I'll take the land plane and work its way down and take down this nut, this uh, ridge a little bit uh, or I'll be using uh, the hulk to break my way over some because it gets pretty the uh, topsoil up above up here gets gets a little bit thicker and I still have to work at the top of the driveway pull more sod out. Yesterday when I was doing the work here, right when I was right here blocking off this area, Bud came with a load of wood chips. So I had to stop temporarily. Eventually I'm going to have to take this maple out here. This one's been in rough shape for years. The other ones aren't too bad. This is all pretty rough in here. So... I don't know. I'll either start with the land plane and take some of this nudge, this, these knolls out and deposit more soil over in here, which is a little bit low and I want to work on that area. Yeah, so I'm undecided. There's so many options.
thank God I've got some equipment. So we'll test this out and see what ends up happening. I'll let you know. Okay, let's see what I've got accomplished so far today. Just had some lunch. I was able to use the Hulk and uh, take out where, where the soil was getting real thick in here and just sort of worked it out so that the water can make its way right down that spillway down there. So it still needs a lot of dress up work. And I worked on this whole margin here where it goes where it transitions into the lawn so the lawn I thought and maybe someday in the future I'll just 
knock a lot of this out and build more up back over there like where I put the soil where we got some low spots but I wanted to make the transition going from the marginal zone to the lawn over here a little bit better I did have some spots where there were some uh, some sod still present that uh, the, the land plane didn't get all the way out so I used Elon with the uh, articulating grading bucket and scraped around the pillars here and there were spots along in here that needed to be scraped and then the transition up here was much more abrupt between the lawn and all. And I can see I dug down over there a little bit. Pay attention, Kevin. So it's a little bit more steeper here. The slope going down towards the driveway it creates more of a swale here. So. And I had used to have some uh, trumpet vines here on the uh, power here. So I pulled out those roots. I terminated those uh, last year. And this was real steep right here. Hey Russell. And so I just was able to scoot in here and pull out a lot of this, smooth it out some. Got to straighten up this uh, pillar. So it looks a bit better. I scraped out a lot of the sod that was growing right along in here. I have some more to do by hand. <clears throat> I got to do the same thing over on this side. And do a little bit of work here on this side as well. So there's a job for Elon here. So then we'll get the land plane out and dress things up a bit see how things are the piles of the sod here there's quite a few rocks in there a good size ones that I, that I popped up uh, sorry the wind is kicking up so I may put some uh, put that all in one pile instead of two piles like I have it I don't know yet and uh, and maybe cover it with some wood chips so it'll start to break down and not throw up more of the grass or weeds on it. So, so far so good. This was a side with all the uh, conduit data cables, uh, electric for, for things. I do have some electric for the pillars on this side as well, as well as the water line, but the water line's pretty deep, so I don't have to worry about that. I see Timmy's out here to help out, of course. So, time to get back to work on the driveway. Another day. Here we go. You say, Timmy, ready to rock and roll? So I just finished doing what I'm going to do out here today on the driveway. Uh, I used Elon, the uh, excavator, and the Hulk. And uh, we ended up getting, on this side of the driveway, <coughs> getting more of our uh, swale established. Now there's some more stuff that's filled in there, so I'll have to clean that up. Uh, let me take a walk up and see how it's looking so far. I'm scraping some of the mounds down that were too steep, so I'm making the slopes getting up into the different sections to mow. And hopefully next year I'll re redo this whole area. Yeah, the wind's here today. Sorry about that. And so the dust is getting kicked up like crazy. So I work, worked on this one as well. Just used the land plate and, uh, and boy, that really does kick up a heck of a lot of the, uh, the stones. So like I said, it's really rocky here. Kick that one up. <laughs> You can see all the rocks in here that I've got to pick up. 
and uh, a lot of sod, a lot of material grew up in here, so I had to get a lot of that out. Later on, I'll re redo each of the swales down here, smooth out the bases there. But you may be able to see it can make its way down here. And so as runoff comes from the driveway or from the road, now there is a swale up there that doesn't attach to the driveway. It can take the stuff off the road, especially as the snow thaws in the spring springtime. But then the swell can come, the water can come off here, head into this one. And again, I've got to redo this one. This is where the grapevines were, and I redid that area. There's another little little rock that came up out of here, and you can see there's lots of stone. I did a lot of work around there. I'll still have to work on these slopes going back up. Same thing on the other side, but just got done using the land plane here. And uh, that does a really good job, but it does grab a hold of any rocks. They got a little, a little head sticking up and it pops them right up out of the ground. <clears throat> Which just means go do some more work, Kevin. And then just a minute ago, Bud came by and dropped off another load of wood chips. So we got a load yesterday, we got a load today, so that's awesome. That's really good. So that's where we are today with the driveway. That's about all I can do today. Thank God I've got cab machines because the amount of dust with the wind here really kicks up pretty bad. So I can be inside and the stuff isn't getting in my respiratory system or in my eyes. So that works out pretty well. So I take this bit by bit, do what I can do, and of course the winds kick up now. And, uh, and then I plan on tackling it again another day. So that's it for today's video, folks. Uh, I hope there was something of value in this. At least you can see a guy working out here in the, in the, uh, on the homestead. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye now.